Hello everyone, how are you today? This is Mark. I'm doing just great. Thanks for asking. The students weren't paying attention to the lesson. Joshua got a postcard from a faraway country. In this lesson, we're going to talk about definite and indefinite articles. So stay tuned. Let me start by saying that if you think you know everything about this lesson, you're wrong. I'm going to talk about definite and indefinite articles in a very detailed way. So let's start with the. We use the and we pronounce the with consonant sounds and not consonant letter. What do I mean by that? Okay, let's look at car. K is a consonant sound. So the car, the boy etc. Consonant sounds are not consonant letters. Let's take an example of a, a word that starts with the vowel but is pronounced with a consonant sound. The university. The European Union. So these two start with a sound y. This y is a consonant sound. Now how do we pronounce it with vowels, then? Well, the, the exam, the hour, and in this case, the word starts with the vowel, okay, the exam, and obviously we have H here, but the H is mute, so we don't pronounce it. So, the, our, consonants, uh, vowel sound, sorry, vowel sound. Now, we also use it for, um, stress something. For example, the flower I gave you last week died. If you want to stress that flower, the flower. Now, uh, I have eight rules that we're going to talk about. So, the first one, you can place the definite um, article, the, with any noun, but you need to have already mentioned it. For example, uh, the boy um, I told you about is sick. Okay, so the boy, the other person knows who I'm talking about. So that boy, the boy I talk about. Okay, so number two, the rule number two, when referring to one specific person, thing, or group. For example, the sun, the earth, the the Colosseum in this case, okay, the Colosseum, etc. So specific is only one. Number three, to refer to living things in singular form. So the home of the buffalo is America. So the group of animals, buffalo. The potato comes from the New World, for example. Potato is singular and so, but we, here we mean the group of potatoes, obviously. Now, um, for the fourth rule, giving more details about the noun by adding an adjective. So, the small church in Rome is very beautiful. The bold man just fell off the ladder, for example. The bold, bold and small are adjectives. The fifth rule that I want to talk about is with general determiners, so few, little, many, other, etc. The few who arrived late got a bad mark, for example. The few, so before, few, little, many, other. Now, number six, with one, ones, and numbers. Mary wanted the red one. Okay, the red one, that one. Number seven, with plural countries. So, the United States of America. The Maldives, etc. So, with plural countries. Now, with geographical names, and this is the last one. Uh, the Atlantic Ocean. So, for example, with oceans and sea and seas the Mediterranean, etc. The Gulf of Mexico, so with bays, gulfs, etc. With rivers, the Nile, the Amazon, etc. Now with groups, 
in this case with groups of lakes the great lakes but we say we don't use with uh, lake ontario we don't say the lake ontario we say lake ontario without article um, the Himalayas, the Andes, so it's a group of mountains. So if you want to talk about Everest, you just don't say the Everest. You say Everest, the name of the mountain. The Gobi Desert. So with deserts, we need the. And here I noted that with single lakes or islands, mountains, we don't use the. But if you want to be specific, for example, the Isle of Man, okay, you can say the, because we is that specific island. But, uh, for example, Australia, that is a continent and is an island, we don't use the at the beginning. Or Greenland, for example. Now let's talk about the indefinite article a or an. We use a before consonant sounds. So, like I said, a university. So, the u here is a vowel, but the sound is, is a j. So, it's a consonant sound. So, a university, a book, etc. Now, an before vowel sounds. So, an hour. The h is mute, like I said before. So, an hour, an apple. So, this A is a consonant, is a vowel sound. So, it would be something like this. It's a vowel sound. An apple, etc. You have many examples. Now, I listed five rules that I want to talk about with you. So, the first time you mention something, you need to use the indefinite article a or an. So, a postcard from a faraway country, I said in my example. So, this is the, the first time I mentioned the postcard and the faraway country. So, the second rule, adding more information to the noun. So, with, for example, an adjective. A Spanish tycoon. So, Spanish would be the adjective, tycoon would be the noun. A Spanish tycoon. Another example, or the third rule, is with professions. So, an English teacher, like me, an English teacher, and this, in this case we have also the adjective English, so I'm a teacher, but I'm an English teacher, or a lawyer, etc. So, with professions. Number fourth rule, when using one individual person or thing, to make a general statement about all the people or things of that type. So, for example, an adolescent generally eats more than an adult. So, an adolescent and an adult. A monkey, in this case we have uh, the animals, monkeys, and I specify a monkey, is more intelligent than a turtle. I, I specify one, but I refer to the whole, the group of, of monkeys and turtles. The fifth rule and the last rule, with singular nouns, which refer to just one thing. For example, a full moon was lighting up a dark sky. So, singular nouns, so, full moon, and this specifies only the moon. So, a full moon was lighting up a dark sky. The sky is only one, and it was dark in this case. Now, let's recap. I've listed eight rules to use the definite article the. So, watch the lesson again if you don't remember it. I've listed five different rules for the indefinite article a or an. Remember how to use them and with what words to use a or an. Well, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the lesson. 
Thank you very much for watching. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, you may do so uh, by clicking subscribe. And uh, if you have any questions, comments, or if you want to give your own example, type it under this video. Enjoy your day and see you next week. Take care. Bye-bye.